So you want a lower corral painter? I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna go through each tool, show you how this program works. You'll be up and running in no time. And more importantly, you're gonna be able to follow me when I start doing demos. So let's go. So here we have the opening welcome screen for Corel Painter 2018. So what you're going to see here uh, right away, we can create a new document or we can open a document. It has recent documents and we have document templates. Later on, I'll show you how to make a, a template that can be stored there. But you'll also notice over here under documents, if you click on setups, you'll see that what this is going to show you is that there's several layouts that you can choose from here. Okay. There's a default classic, simple new painter, or excuse me, new to painter, photo art, illustration, fine art, concept art, and manga art. You can make your own layout as well. Okay, all of these things can be customized. You don't have to pick your layout here. You can also pick it once we're inside of Corel and we're painting. So I just want you to see that. If we come down here to the next tab, we have what's new. This is going to show you um, any tutorials, tips, tricks. Um, also, it's going to show you just any of the latest developments that have been added to the latest version of Corel. Now here we have tutorials. Tutorials, it's very specific to, it's gonna have tutorials that are geared towards uh, getting you up and running with Corel Painter 2018. Uh, definitely wanna take a look at some of those. Obviously, I'm gonna have a lot of things for you to go through, uh, and I'm gonna have some stuff very detailed, so, uh, but this is extra resource for you as well. Now, if we go down here to gallery, what this is, is if you scroll through, Okay, you'll see different artists here and it'll allow you to have access to see their work. If you click on it, you can find their link to their stuff. Okay, um, so you have a lot of talented people in here to look at and get, draw inspiration from. Okay, get more. Here, you basically can get more brushes. Uh, you can see the special offers here uh, for just well, this is brushes as well. They're, they're on sale right now. They have new brushes over here is hardware. So if you want to get a Wacom tablet, uh, you can go ahead and go through uh, this, these links to get you hooked up. And here you'll have uh, training. Training, there's more tutorials and different courses that you can go through to look at to get additional training. Um, and you know, definitely here's the link. You can go through and find out anything that you would need uh, additional to Corel. So now, let me just show you one last thing. Uh, let's go back up here to uh, setup. If you come over here to the side, there's brush tracking, which I'm gonna talk about once we're in the program, and there's color management. These are also very important to understand. If you come up here to the gear sign, you'll see if you put your cursor right over it, it'll show you, it'll say, show this at startup. What that means is this, if you don't want this window, uh, you can uncheck this box and it will not be available to you. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, a lot of times I don't have this open because I just want to go directly into the application, but it really doesn't matter. You can hit this check, uh, excuse me, the, the close uh, icon right here, it'll close it or we can come up to documents and hit new. So when you get here, you'll have a window. There's going to have, you can type in the name for your document right away. When you want to get started, you'll see it says canvas preset, painter default. Okay, this is a basic layout. What this means is anytime you set up any of the settings inside of Corel, if you want to save it as a preset so you can easily have access to it every time you're working, you can go ahead and do that. It's simply by hitting the plus sign and then you can just give it a name. So I'll just give it a test. It's basically the same thing right now. Um, so now that would be inside of here. If I want to get rid of it, you just hit the minus sign and you can get rid of that preset. 
okay? Now, here's a few things I want you to see. With Corel, there are a few little funny things that can happen. It's not really a big deal, but let's just say, for example, I came over here and turned this to inches, and then I type 300. Now, we have over here color and paper. I usually don't adjust this here because it's stuff that I will usually adjust while working. The paper texture, usually when I'm working, I'll switch that off and on to different types of paper texture. And the color if, of the paper, if I wanted it to be a different color, it's so easy to set up when you're actually in the document. So usually I don't even touch any of these things. So let's just go ahead and hit OK. OK, now we are inside of Corel. So first thing I want you to see is when the document comes in, okay, you can see that I actually have the window, okay, and then there's the document or the actual desktop behind. If you want this document to fill full screen so you can't accidentally uh, tap outside of the document like this, there's an icon right over here that allows you to do that. You just click on that and it makes it full screen. The keyboard shortcut for that is command letter M, okay? Command or control letter M like in Mary, okay? And that'll give you full screen access. So that's how you'll create your new document and fill the screen. So on the next module, we're gonna go ahead and dive in and show you how to uh, access the different layouts and how and then after that I'm going to show you how to create a custom layout okay so we're we have a long way to go we have a bunch of tools to go over brushes and different things like that so if you want to make sure you're able to get all these things and master Corel just make sure you hit subscribe hit that little bell button below and uh, I'll see you next time